What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we have a very special one for you today, man. We have a very fun video. Today, we are covering my custom WWE action figure collection. However, there is a twist. It is my fantasy attire collection. So this is any figure that is a custom in my collection that is not an official figure or an official attire that the Superstar wore. It's completely fantasy. It's from my brain. It's something that I had an idea of in my brain, brought it to fruition, and put it in figure form. So today, man, we're going to see a lot of one-of-ones, a lot of stuff that you're not going to see anywhere else, and it should be fun, man. So with all that being said, let's shut the hell up, dive into the fantasy attire WWE custom collection. So starting off first, man, we do have one of my special ones. And this is one of the more recent ones. We have the Jeff Hardy Green Skull Face Paint. Now, this one's very unique. This is one you're not going to see a lot of places. I actually came up with this idea here with this, this green and black skull style. BW did make this, and then he does have the blonde on the sides there. Just very, very clean paint work. And we did put this on the Ultimate Edition. Got to straighten the necklace out there. But this is a very sweet one. I love this figure. This is beautiful. I, I don't like the torso choice of the first Ultimate Edition. But damn, that's a good looking figure right there, man. I love that figure. Next up is one we just took a look at the other day on action figure surgery it is the white attire randy orton here now this is just so clean now he does need to have the double jointed arm upgrade he needs to be upgraded in some ways but the white gray and black here man some of these things like this is what makes wwe action figures and so many different things so fun is because of the custom element where you can upgrade a figure completely and make your own attire i just love it man i i, I love that part of the hobby we've talked about that a few times it's the best it's definitely my favorite part is just the customization and the creativity of the community and we're moving things forward to the MDT Alive Roman Reigns. Now this is the way I have him in the pick fed here. He's got the black shorts. He's got the like the spat with the red sleeves, red gauntlets here. Beautiful looking head sculpt. Still waiting on Mattel to somehow replicate this in figure form. But this is a really unique Roman Reigns. It's the way he looks in the pick fed there. And I, I love this. I, I don't think I'll ever change the way this looks. I just think it fits better for the bloodline gimmick and stuff like that. But I, I'm digging this. I like the Roman Reigns here. And this is completely out of my brain. All these are just figures that I came up with out of my brain. Or I do have a few in here that are gifts and stuff like that, but I love that Roman Reigns. That's one of my favorite Roman Reigns in my entire collection, and also I couldn't find the Roman Reigns box. That's like the only Roman I can find, so I will not have the all-white Roman, I don't think. I'll see. I'll give it another look before we get to the end, but just wanted to make that clear. Next up, we have the pink Kevin Owens here, and the pink Kevin Owens is pretty cool. It's pretty clean, you know, it's just you know, pink kick pads, pink logos, and that's it. It's just a pink and black KO attire. Nothing too immaculate, but you know, it's pretty fun. I think it's a good fresh air, and you guys know I love pink, one of my favorite colors, so up Upgrading some figures in pink and making them look better is always the case here. Here's an RVD. Very similar, right? It is the Tiger Stripes gear, but the Tiger Stripes are turned into pink, so it's nothing too crazy either. But it just look how refreshing it is. It's just a change-up, man. Just like you added a filter or something like that to the to the figure, and I think it adds for a lot of stuff here. This one right here, here's one that is awesome because it is a gift from the fans. This is from my man Rob here. It's got MDT crew on the side. Get the DZs here. And the formula is not the same as a regular Dolph Ziggler, but he's got the MDT shirt on there. I love this this figure right here just because it's it's Dolph Ziggler he's one of my favorites and you mix it together with MDT vibes and you mix it together with people that are fans of the channel that warms my soul that touches my heart looks immaculate and that adds to our next figure which is another fantasy attire which was a gift now back in the day I made a Spider-Man Neville custom for one of my buddies Benamine Figs and then he got with BEW and they made me this MDT Dolph Ziggler attire which is like this black white and, and pink zebra print style he's got the MDT logos on the butt and on the face there and this is very clean he's even got pink touches on the boots. I love this Dolph Ziggler. It's great. I, and then we put the new head sculpt on there. Adds for a whole new element. That's a classic piece on the channel. Next up is a custom for my man Rob and this is a white fantasy attire. It's like white and gray fantasy attire. It looks a lot like his No Mercy gear from Bray Wyatt but it is different. You guys can see there's white and gray and it's got the white kick pads and the, the like bluish gray dolphin gray color. I love this figure right here man. And again any figure that is a gift from a fan I, hold it special to the heart. You know what I'm saying? Continuing with the pink theme. We have this ricochet that is pink. This is from Mac Decals. He's never worn this to my knowledge, but it's still beautiful. I put Bret Hart boots on it and I think it really adds to it. It used to just have plain white boots, but the white sleeve and everything, I think the, the Bret Hart boots really complete that that ricochet right there. So we have that ricochet in pink. We have another white figure. We have the Alistair Black NXT Elite. Another very classic figure here. I love this white attire. Very clean. I put some Shelton Benjamin kick pads, some Seth Rollins Elite 45 knee pads to add that white and gold. Pretty classic Alistair Black. I love that one a lot as well. That one 
sort of classic on the channel. Here's one made by Burnout Inc. I love this because we have so many customizers represented in this video of just talented people. I sent him this fantasy attire and I knew he would bring it to life very clean. So we have this black, royal blue, and white and gray gear from Seth Rollins. Just so sweet. This is around like, it's based off of like 2016, 2017, but I, I sent that over to him and he knocked that out of the park. I love that figure. That's a real classic one. We have a lot of classic Seth Rollins figures here on the channel, man, and we're continuing on with probably the most iconic custom on the channel. Uh, I don't know. You guys could let me know, but it is the Buzz Lightyear Seth Rollins Space Ranger attire, and we've shown this one off quite a bit on the channel. Everybody knows it. It's the classic. The story goes, I was just in my, I couldn't believe that nobody had really done this before, but I, I was looking in my son's room and I saw Buzz Lightyear and I looked at the Space Ranger logo and it just clicked just like that. And I was like, well, SR could stand for Seth Rollins. And then I said, oh my God, I'm going to make a Buzz Lightyear attire. And here it is. It's got, you know, the Rollins nameplate and everything. This one is uh, crazy. That's a crazy custom right there. Even though he never won a match in that thing, he's 0-1 with that, with that gear. But you know what? At least he looked fire taking the L. Next up is another Kevin Owens pink version. You have Kevin Owens live instead of, you know, KO show or whatever. I painted over the show and put live on there because it's MDT live. And it's the same attire as that one back there, but the graphic on the shirt's different. Kind of, you know, that's how Kevin Owens usually rocks it, right? He'll just change a, a couple of, like, graphics on his clothes. We have the white sold out AJ Styles gear. Another beautiful custom. I love this. It's like Carolina blue. You have the silver, black, and white. Very, very clean. I need to remake this in the modern figure, and I think I definitely will do that. Like, remake this figure, remake this attire, maybe change it up just slightly, but this is a classic on the custom. Need to redo it. I mean, it's kind of, you know, over the years, it's taken kind of a beating, but it's still a beauty to look at. I love that AJ Styles. Another classic on the channel is the Seth Rollins Punisher gear here. Very sweet. You have the Punisher skull entrance gear. Another one out of the brain. You got the skull on the knee pad. You got the white and black going all the way around. Nothing too crazy, but still, I love the Punisher and I love Seth Rollins, so why not mix the both together? And staying on the Punisher theme, you guys already know, we have the Punisher Jeff Hardy here. Jeff Hardy is a guy that I just love doing fantasy attires for because he's so fun to do. You have, you have Jeff Hardy, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, guys like that that are just very easy to make customs of. You know, here's Jeff Hardy and then we have a few more Jeff Hardys here. Ah, Jesus. So let's, let's go ahead and knock these out, man. These right here, these are all custom face paints and then uh, I paired like a few different things with them to make them like over the top here. So going along with the green one that you guys saw, you have the Punisher one here with the Punisher shirt and the all black. The whole gear is black. Got the entrance code in there. You know, matching all the Punisher themes. You have this one that's kind of like a white ghostly attire. I just love this face paint right here. Look at that right there. He just looks so menacing and he's got the custom shirt on there. Dude, this is sweet. And look at that. He's even got the tattoo. Very underrated Jeff in the collection right there. We have that Jeff. We have this one which is really unique. It is the galaxy face paint here with the white half. I think it looks so good with these lightning sleeves here. And BW did a fantastic job on all these head sculpts. They look so damn good. So we have that Jeff Hardy. We saw this one the other day in a video. It is the clown Jeff Hardy with the like the mismatched rainbow braid style hair here. Very, very cool there. He's got the like mismatching sleeves that are green and he's got the green kick pads. I mean, dude, what a sweet figure. Man, I gotta get back in the lab. I gotta get the office fully set up so I can get back customizing. I do have some new customs on the way, but they're not my own making. I had to go outside the realm to get these. And then this one right here I was really proud of. And I don't know how the hell BW, I don't know how the hell BW does it, but uh, I sent him this, this artwork that I was inspired by here to make this face paint. And look at these lines, man. Jesus Christ, look how sweet that is. That on top of the jersey with the white pants and the zebra. I mean, this is a really clean one. Possibly my favorite. You guys can let me know what you think down below on your favorite Jeff Hardy figure from the video. Now, picking it back up, we're right back at it. We have some Seth Rollins figures here. Now, these Seth Rollins customs, these are all fantasy gears, but there's no paint on these. So, these have no paint. You could actually make these yourselves if you get the parts here. So we have this kind of like Elite 45 hybrid with black just to kind of give them a different look. We have this Elite 37 version that's got like some Top Talents kick pads from Finn Balor. So, it's like a gray, silver, and black. Kind of a charcoal gray style attire right there, which I really like. We have this SummerSlam figure that kind of mixes together uh, just some white kick pads with some white wrist wristbands or wrist gauntlets. They kind of tie the whole gear together. You have the red, black, and white. And I thought that one was pretty cool there to balance it out. We're continuing on, man. I made a lot of these because I have so much Seth Rollins fodder and I was getting on surgery and just kind of going wild with it. But here is one that's very unique, man. This is a total Frankenstein effort, as we like to call it. It's like Tyson Kidd arms with the top talent Seth Rollins figure, like the Wolverine gear. Then he's got the knee pad from one of the basics. He's got Mustafa Ali yellow kick pads. This is like such a crazy gear, but it looks like it goes together with all these different patterns and stuff like that. I really enjoyed this one right there. That one's a really cool one. Now, obviously, these kind of are out of date now because the formula is not right. You know, he's he's very small back then. Like, the figures don't look as good as they do now. They're not as realistic, but they're still bad. Eh? I, I mean, they're still really cool figures to, 
to pick up and pose around and look at because they can wear their own special gear without having any paint. So here's like the Elite 75. He's got these Kofi Kingston kick pads on there that tie in the orange and blue. I thought that one was really unique. We have this like almost Thanos style gear with gray and white. You have the gold knee pad on there compared to the white knee pad. That one was pretty cool as well. Not quite the SummerSlam attire, but it's very similar to it. We also have the Hell's Gate Kevin Owens. It says Kevin F and Owens. It's got like the hellish fire there. And then you have the orange on the uh, the shorts and the kick pads. Very unique right here. And it's like kind of a defining moments here. He defended the title against Buddy Murphy. Very cool figure here. I, I really love this Kevin Owens, man. That's like one of my favorite things about like the feds, man. It's just, you know, getting to go wild with custom attires and, you know, just have fun with it and do all those things. That's just the creativity behind all of it, man. That's the best. Next up is another Seth Rollins. This is supposed to be like him teaming with AJ. So they both wear gloves. You know, it's kind of like if AJ Styles and Seth Rollins were to team up in like 2015 or something like that, or if he rocked this Tron gear back in his singles run when he was wearing gloves, kind of. So he'd have the green in the hair and it matches the rest of the attire there. So it's kind of just a real weird piece there. I think we did that one on surgery back in the day. We have one for my buddy Ty Goodrich here. This is a Seth Rollins MDT. So on the side, you do have uh, this is the old, it says My Damn Rollins, and then it's got like the patterns going around. Like, not this is old. I meant like it's the old formula. It's not the new formula, but it's still a badass piece. And we did put the man bun head sculpt on there, which is pretty sweet. Love that figure. I appreciate Ty for sending that over. We also have a pink attire Finn Balor here, pink and gray. Look how sweet this looks. Very unique. Another one from my man Rob. This one's awesome. I love this pink attire Finn Balor. Very clean stuff, man. All these people are so talented. Anybody that made a custom this video is so talented because they're all so clean. I mean, mine are probably the worst ones, but these are so great. Next up is one that is from the pick fed, and this is what I'm talking about, man. There's just the ones that, like, the creativity. You have this Braun Strowman. He's in a tag team with Kane, and so we have him as a hellish monster, so he's got his grown-out beard, his grown-out hair. He's shirtless. He's got these new, like, Bobby Lashley boots on there. Got the black hand tape, and then he's got this Jason-style mask that uh, covers him up there. So him and Kane are running rampant. They're monsters out there. And they're just, a, you're not going to see something like that, man. The, you know, the, this is a one-of-one. One. You're not going to see anything like that unless they replicate this. So that's the best part about it. And then we also have this Spider-Man Cedric Alexander, which is a really cool figure. I love this. I thought it was really clean. We have since adjusted it. We put, it, you know, blue kick pads on there, blue sleeve. And then you do have the Spider-Man logos. You got the CA on the back. Very fun attire to make. He's got the spider, like, web patterns on there. Uh, really, uh, just all this stuff's making me want to get back in the lab as far as just a bunch of different things, man, because I want to, I want to customize, I want to get, you know, feds out, and I want to do all those things. It's what makes it the most fun, man. Another pick fed. We have two pick fed customs here to round out the video, actually, and one of them is going to be the Iron Man Championship attire. Johnny Gargano didn't win the championship, but he dressed up like the championship for the event of the Iron Man Championship here. It's, I mean, it kind of looks like rescue, but the Iron Man Championship is you know, blue and gold, and so he rocked the blue and gold here, and it's like a combination of his Iron Man gear mixed with blue, and uh, that was really fun. And he's got like the arc reactor entrance gear. That's so badass, man. So sweet. And then rounding out our video, we do have Velveteen Dream in the Bloodline gear because he was trying to mock Roman Reigns, and so he showed up in the Usos gimmick, and he's got the jacket on there, the headband, the red joggers, and everything like that. So this was a fun figure to make as well. It's just a torso swap, but uh, fantasy gear nonetheless, and it's pretty cool. It's like a moment in time, another not defining moment because he didn't win the match, but he had a good showing and everything like that, competing for the MDT Championship. But I couldn't find my Roman Reigns, my all-white Roman Reigns, so I'm just going to roll with it, man. That sucks. I couldn't find it, but I'm sure I left out some just because the organ the collection's not organized right now. But we haven't done this video in a really long time, and I wanted to update it and put this out there. And I'm sure, you know, it, most of the gems are in there. We may be missing a few here and there, but for the most part, I think this is every single fantasy attire custom WWE action figure in my entire collection outside of maybe a handful that hopefully I can find soon. But that's going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you guys so much for your continued support here on the MDT YouTube channel. If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below. But that's going to wrap this video up, man. Definitely leave me all your thoughts on these customs down below. But I am getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Name Toys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.